brought some money out, I be flexing when I'm drunk and shit. These bitches mad at me, they throw their phone, they be like, fuck this Smoking shit. big granddaddy, little phone, them overstuff my blood and shit. So, like, when y'all was growing up, I know y'all six years probably, like, did y'all ever, like, have any, like, childhood fights and shit? Yeah, we, we had one when I first came home in 2014. Really? Because he, he thought he was a big dog. <laughs> I'm on the drive right now. Where y'all say y'all want me to be at? You want me to come back? You the one that said come by the mirror? Come. Hey, look, just walk to the bar mirror, bro. Y'all already know what's going on, man. We in the building, man. Everybody go ahead, get in here. Smash the like button, say what number y'all is. Drop low so we can shout out to where everybody from. Y'all see the title, y'all see the thumbnail. We got two topics. First topic is, you know, DJ, you just interviewed Wooski and Big Mike. So one of the things that came out of that shit that was interesting to me is that Wooski and Big Mike fought each other when Big Mike came home. So we're going to talk about that for one. And then for the second topic, we're going to talk about how, you know, O Block and uh, Taekwon were was woofing at each other for T-Roy Day, man. We're going to talk about that shit. But uh, as far as the Wooski and Big Mike, Shit, as far as them fighting each other, when you know what I'm saying, when Big Mike came home. So look, I want to make this shit clear. This is when Big Mike came home in 2014. Not when Big Mike just came home a few months ago type shit, because that shit wouldn't even make sense. Like, come on, Big Mike. You know your brother is, like, healing. You know what I'm saying? You ain't got no business fighting him right now. Like, fighting him in, in no condition to fight, even though... Wooski done came a long way as far as his recovery process, so tip my head off to him. But he's still not in no condition to be fighting, you know. Especially you with your reputation. It's heard that you actually, like, you overbeating shit. So it's like, you know what I'm saying? But uh, we talking about back in 2014, before the headshot, before Wooski, you know what I'm saying? He was good. He was trying to go, whether the street shit or, or fighting. Goddamn, his ass was good to go and shit like that. So, um... Uh, you know, like, I ain't gonna lie, that shit was good to see uh, Big Mike and Wooski, you know, sitting next to each other, you know, doing an interview like brothers, because everybody know, goddammit, the world is so ganged out right now, and, you know, you got people like Lil Durk and Lil Zay Osama out here pushing that F my cousin shit or F my family member shit or the gang before the family type shit, you know. You got people like really under the act like, yeah, Big Mike, that's uh Von best friend. Well, that's Von Rappy. You know, Wooski, that's Von enemy type shit. So a lot of people feel like shit, you know, that Big Mike and Wooski would have put the streets before their family shit, you know. And, you know, it's good to see that the opposite took place. Like Big Mike and Wooski, even though Big Mike from Old Block and Wooski from STL and Old Block and STL are actively, you know what I'm saying, taking each other out out this shit, you know, it's good to see that that shit ain't affect their relationship, like, they still brothers, like, they ain't letting that shit get in the way of shit, you know, so, uh, you know, goddammit, uh, I guess, you know, just like normal shit, brothers fighting and shit like that, like, I got a big brother, we fought all the time, so it's like, you know, naturally, as the little brother, you always wanna try your big brother in some type of way because you know what i'm saying like shit that's your big brother you y'all both men and it's like you want to show that you're not little no more with or that you're not going or whatever you know what i'm saying so i guess when big mike came home in 2014 i got wooski got on board shit you know just on some little brothers type shit and you know big mike was like he was saying in the interview like that when you know when they was younger he used to damn near let Wooski get off, you know, like get off a little bit because, you know, that was the only way that he'll stop type shit. But, uh, you know, he said around like 2014, Wooski wasn't little no more, you know what I'm saying? Like he big, so it's like, he like, hell no, I ain't letting him get off no more because like, shit, you know what I'm saying? Your ass big now, like shit, I let you get off too much, you might mess around now. You know what I'm saying? I might mess around, hit the flow. I might end up on my back type shit, letting you trying to, you know, let my little brother, you know what I'm saying, do his, like, nah, bro, all that, all that shit over with. So it's like, you know, and for the people who don't know, goddammit, uh, this was before this shit happened with Big Mike and King Von. So it's like, you know, probably like a little bit after Big Mike got out, you know, the shit happened with him and Vaughn to where he had to go back in jail and sit all the way up until now type shit, you know, which would be 10 years, you know. But, um, 
Yeah, man. I'm, you know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna lie. That shit was uh, that shit was dope to see. You know, Big Mike and uh, Wooski sitting next to each other, bro. You know, just like I said, bro. Especially with their affiliation that they got, you know, and the way that the people in, you know, what I'm saying, are, like the big faces like Dirk and Lil Zell Zama, they pushing this shit. Like, no, we riding with our gang before we ride with our family type shit. So. It's good to see that the opposite, you know, basically when you see uh, Wooski and Big Mike sitting down next to each other, it's the opposite going on. Because these is like, this is like a THF member and an 0511 member sitting next to each other. To put it in context for y'all a little bit to let you know, you know, how much of a big deal it is, you know. Like Driller, you know, 051 into it with a, uh, 051 into it with a block called Murder Town. Driller from 051, his cousin Timo is from Murder Town. And they let that shit get in between them. You know what I'm saying? Like, Driller done let it be known that if he see his cousin, he gonna kill him. All type of shit. Like, you know, so it's, it's a lot of instances where, you know, the individuals let the streets get in between them. So this one of the incidents where it's like the opposite took place, where it's like they, you know, like direct. Like I said, just like an 051 member and a THF member standing next to you. And anybody that's tapped into this shit, y'all know what's going on. Like, you know what I'm saying? THF, 051, you know, O Block, 63rd. Like, this is what is going on. Like, Big Mike, O Block, Woosie from 63rd. And they let they ain't let the street shit get in between their family, you know? Like, they did what you supposed to do. Like, you would think everybody would do that shit, but nah, it's more incidences. Or it's more significant incidences, you know, in the public eye incidences where it's like everybody let the street shit get in between them and they they blood, you know what I'm saying? Like that shit, that shit definitely going on. But uh, yeah, that's that on that situation. Shout out big, shout out DJU, shout out Big Mike, shout out Wooski. Um, as far as O Block and TW, like I said, bro, this shit still going on. So it's like that Big Mike Wooski shit. That was a big deal. But as far as the second topic, it's damn near relevant to the first topic because, you know, Valentine's Day just passed. For the people who don't know, that's T-Roy Death Day. And, you know, for obvious reasons, I mean, they always whiffing at each other anyway. But for obvious reasons, they was over whiffing at each other on Valentine's Day. Old Block and uh, Taekwondo World, they got the whiffing at each other. You know, T.W. trolling. Old block, like, yeah, this is the day yo homie got killed. Shorty them in the old, like, man, yo homie, yo big homie got killed trying to buy designer. They were, they talking about duck and shit like that. So, boom, they ass get the setting up a meeting. Like, yeah, I mean, go by, go by Von Morrow. Go by Von Morrow. I'm going to meet you over there. And, you know, Shorty them. So, uh, Shorty them from the old, like, yeah, go by Von Morrow. I'm going to meet you over there. Shorty them from TWs, he said to basically say the same thing back. He's like, no, nah, you go by Von Moore. I'm going to meet you over there. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, it's, you know, they had some shorties, man. You know, but it's like, you know, that shit could turn deadly quick. You know, like, you could tell they as young as hell by how they coming. But it's like, it's like they playing around with some serious shit. It's like, man. You go over there by that moral. Shorty, shorty tell you he gonna meet you over there. He not coming to meet you to say what's up. Like, he ain't coming to meet you to shake hands or none of that shit. Like, it's gonna be somebody finna get their ass stressed. Somebody finna die over there. Like, y'all setting up. Y'all y'all setting up a meeting for one of y'all to die type shit. So it's like, you know, you know, it's like shit. You know, trolling can turn. Like, they, they trolling because neither one of them look like they wanted to do this shit. I'm, I'm gonna get my personal opinion. Neither one of them look like they wanted to do the shit. So they trolling. But look, they trolling some serious shit. Y'all ass gonna lose y'all life playing these games on this Instagram live, man. Y'all ass tweaking, you know? But, uh, yeah, man, they woofing at each other, you know, because it's T-Roy Day, O-Block, Shorty, they feeling some type of way. T-W trolling them like, yeah, this is the day your homie died. O-Block like, man, your big homie talking about Doug, your big homie died trying to buy design, you know, everybody just woofing. But uh, I ain't gonna lie, man, you would think, you know what I'm saying, everybody ain't gonna learn. You would think Shorty and them uh, learn from, like, it's all type of shit going on right now, but you still got Shorty and them out here under this act. Like, like, ain't, like, they ain't, like, they ain't, they ain't, they ain't, like, ain't shit happen. 
You see what I'm saying? Like, ain't shit going on. Like, ain't shit happen. Shorty and them, they still out here on the same bullshit. Like, y'all gonna be any different. Like, no, I'm gonna do it better. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna do it better than them. You know what I'm saying? Like, you, like, shit. You gonna meet the same fate that your big homie met. You gonna meet the same fate that all your homies met. Like, what you think you different? Like, you would think the shorty and them are damn near learn. Like, I. Right. You know, I seen what happened to four them. I seen what happened to all my homies and shit like that. Like, shit, what make you any different? Like, they ass acting like, no, nah, I'm going to do it better. That ain't going to happen to me. You know what I'm saying? No, nah, I ain't going to go to jail. I ain't going to get took out this shit. Like, like they any better type shit. But, you know, that, so that shit be crazy for me to see. Like, me personally, like, I'll be looking at that shit. That shit be crazy. I'll be like, man, it's like a rerun. Same shit, just... You know what I'm saying? It's like a cycle. You know, this is what they talking about when they talk about the deadly cycle. Like, this is what they talking about. It's like, it's, it's still just going. The same shit. Everybody finna meet the same fate. You'll think that, you know, it'll be a stop up in that shit, you know, after seeing what took place with everybody else, you know, but that shit, that shit be crazy. But look, y'all hop in the comments, y'all let me know what y'all think. Shout out everybody. Keep putting up. Make sure y'all hit the like button. Y'all want to support the channel, just go to the top of the description. I got all the ways to support the channel at the top. Shout out all my supporters. Y'all know I'm shouting y'all out in the middle of the live stream. And all my live streams, you know. But uh, make sure y'all go get y'all OTM merch. And make sure y'all follow me on Instagram, man. I love y'all going, going live tonight. So make sure y'all pull up. Make sure y'all be by y'all phone so y'all get the notification. But uh, yeah, man. Shout out everybody. Keep putting up. Y'all already know what's going on. I brought some money out, I be flexing when I'm drunk and shit. These bitches mad at me, they throw their phone, they be like, fuck this Smoking shit. Smoking big granddaddy, little phone, them overstuff my blood and if shit. If I kidnap granny, you gon' be mad as motherfucker. Hey. Got the kickback Addy, I come through strut this motherfucker. Hey. Bad bitch, red tatted, and hit hey. the black as motherfucker. Hey. Everybody who rock with me, fool. If y'all want to rock out with me until the 21st, because I ain't going to lie. After the 21st, I ain't going to need no AA. I ain't going to need no aid and assistance. You know, I'm, I'm going to be fully back online. And I'm fully, you know what I'm saying? Take care of the shit I need to take care of. Because it's like, you know, YouTube be giving you a whole stack of money. They give you a whole stack of money on the 21st. So it's like, shit, I ain't going to need no aid and assistance after the 21st. But until the 21st, if all my people who rock with me, if y'all can, you know what I'm saying, give me a little aid and assistance, send me a little, send a little AA my way, you know, however y'all can. I definitely appreciate that shit, fool. I brought some money, y'all. I be flexing when I'm drunk and shit. These bitches mad at me. They throw their phone, they be like, fuck this. Smoking big granddaddy. Little phone, them overstuff my blood and shit.